everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know I've been away for like a week, but I had a pretty full week for the last couple weeks and haven't really had time to sit down and film a video. So hopefully I'm back now, back to regular scheduling, I guess, but uh, we will see for the month of March. But today's video is gonna be my second update on my no buy. And I gotta say, I've done it two months and I haven't bought anything and I am so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Now I did get a gift from my in-laws, um, which I did use on Sephora in Sephora, but I did not spend any of my own money. So it's still kind of, I didn't buy anything myself. My, I got it as my, I got a gift from my in-laws that I used to purchase some um, uh, lipsticks. So that happened this month and Valentine's Day as well. So Tyler got me a massage actually at a spa here in the city and I'm super excited to use it and that also came with a uh, free body cream so that was also a gift for Valentine's Day from the hubby um, but I gotta say February was was quite a bit harder I'd say than January because February all the new products are coming out but I gotta say I went through quite a bit this month I went through a whole bunch of body like hair care and body care products shower products I went through a couple um, face cleansers like foam cleansers which was awesome I'm super excited I went through a bunch of hair products and I'm hoping to get through a lot more this month and I'm gonna get through a few more skincare products I'm not sure about makeup because makeup I find I have so much of it it's really hard for me to go through one single thing and so I'm kind of going through everything trying to use everything I have and kind of switch it up every single day when I go to work or if I'm at home and anything like that and I'm trying to pick out exactly what my favorites are within that stuff like what my favorite lipstick brand is or what my favorite lipstick color is and like how to mix you know eyeshadows together and use different palettes and I mean like every day every my everyday look is pretty standard but I switch up the colors every once in a while so I put like three colors on my eyes and like the bronzer, blush, highlight, lipstick, out the door type of routine. Like I do have quite a routine down. Um, but yeah, I found that this month was kind of harder, but also kind of easier at the same time because I'm actually seeing progress on a lot of it now. And I think I didn't see that in the first month where I just started out and I had a lot of stuff that was just being started in January. So I didn't see a lot of emptying out of anything and stuff like that, but now I'm truly seeing it which is making it a lot easier. So let's get right into the stash tour so you can see, and I will see you back here in a few. Hey everybody, so here we are. This month I made quite a dent in my stash, as you can see. Um, I'm decidedly low on, okay, well, not low, but getting low on my hair products. I have a hair mask on, shampoo gone. Um, what else is gone? Yeah, I think it was just a hair mask and shampoo for now, but I'm getting through my conditioner as well. So I still have some wash off masks. My contact lenses are still here. I still have two uh, cleansing bombs. All my cleansers are back here. I did go through another cleanser and another one is almost empty. Um, I've definitely, if you can see, made a dent in my face masks. Uh, I am using them and I'm using them a lot, so that's great. Um, all of these, these are some lip masks and stuff that I got for some videos. So that's the first shelf. You can see we are getting through it and nothing else has been added. The second shelf is even more. Um, makeup stuff, I've gone through two cushions so far and I'm on a third one at the moment. Uh, my foundations and my lip scrubs and stuff are still here. I gone through another body wash, so you can see the, uh, the my second to last Lush body wash is gone. I'm so excited. <laughs> you can see it's a bit more clean down here. We have the um, shave gel gone from Tyler's deodorants as well as the one of my deodorants. And another one back there and all the Christmas stuff. But yeah, so that's that's that one. Not a huge, well, a lot more than last month, but as you can see, that's what we went through so far. All right, so now we're in the bathroom. As you can see, I've gone through a couple samples, but not many. Um, a lot of the time, these samples, I'll use up one or two when I'm finished with the full-size products I'm working on at the moment. We went through another box of these. So this is a new box. We have more soap here. I have another soap over there. 
And down here, you can see nothing has really changed. It's all the same products because it takes us a while to go through. However, this hairspray again, like I said last month, is almost gone, apparently. An empty hairspray bottle could last you over a month. So and my toner's still there, but you can see I'm getting down through it. And Tata's toner is there as well, and his essence and the sleeping pack. My sleeping mask is still kind of halfway full. All right, so you can see I'm almost through my cleansing oil. I'm so excited. And there's another soap, again, almost through that as well. The Honey Mania Body Butter, I'm about three quarters of the way through. And if you look up here, I'm almost finished with this, so this is gonna be gone. Um, I'm almost done with that as well. Again, you think you're almost finished, and then it turns into like a month or two later. <laughs> so there's this stuff, um, Tyler's your my deodorant. This fresh cream, I'm about halfway through, which I'm super excited about. And then up here, I have a new face mask, wash off. This is the Skin Food Rice one, that's just awesome. I'm so excited to be have finished my Too Cool for School one. This is almost finished. It's my uh, face cream from Holica Holica. It's a Skin and Good Sarah one. The eye cream is not even close. This one I'm about halfway through. This is new as well. This is the White Wedding Dream Cream from Vanilla Co. Amazing. And as you can see, I'm getting down through my emulsion. The uh, serum back here, I don't know if it was new last month, but I'm. it's fairly new. I'm probably not gonna go through it. This is almost done. Super excited. Then I'm moving into this one, and this is when this one's finished. And all right, so that is the medicine cabinet. And moving on to my makeup table, as you can see, not a lot has changed. I'm desperately, mascara has changed, obviously. Like I have the three colored mascaras from Too Cool for School in there, so I finished off a couple of mascaras. Um, but yeah, not much else has changed. I got a couple of lipsticks in there, my hand cream's still there. Everything is kind of still the same, same lipstick, same everything. This is an empty cushion. As you can see, I have two refills, so I'm gonna wait on that while I finish. This is the new cushion I'm using. And yeah, and then in the drawer, again, same deal. Nothing's really empty. So, I mean, the makeup table really hasn't changed all that much. All right, so that was my stash tour, as you can see. Not any makeup, no makeup, none. None whatsoever, except for a cushion foundation. Two cushion foundations actually are gone. Um, but they only last me a month anyways, so that's not really a huge feat. So. We're moving on to a CC cushion, which I'm kind of excited about because it's more of a cream foundation versus a cushion. And yeah, so that's it for my update number two. I made it. I made it two whole months and I'm so excited because I'm feeling energized to get through the last four. And we will see you next month for update number three. Hopefully I make it. I'm so happy. And I'm here to encourage any of you, if any of you are going on a, are going on a no buy or are currently on a no buy like I am, I'd love to hear about it and I'd love to hear about how you keep yourself busy, how you keep yourself from um, buying anything. <laughs> um, but I find like it's seeing the progress is a really big motivator for me. So let me know what motivates you down below for your no buys. I'd love to hear from you. And I'm, I'd love to have some support and I'd love to support you as well in your project pans or your no buys. Just let me know and I'm more than happy to help you and support you along your journey. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget me to give, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below, um, and leave me a comment as well with your no buy motivation suggestions and uh, your success stories and your your difficulties, your troubles with it, and let me know how you got through them. And also, if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button and that little bell next to it if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.